Uh, what was your reaction? I think the real story here is that the idea that we have trade issues with China is pretty bipartisan. Hmm. Um, and it's really the, about the how and the why we're getting at these issues that's important. So conservatives and free traders, I think we agree that China doesn't always follow the rules, but we would like to see the use of tariffs left off the table and to address the issues of China more directly. And then the focus on the trade deficit is really just a misnomer and not a good representation of the of the environment and the relationship between the U.S. and China. But the, the whole idea of a trade deal with China, phase one, working on phase two, that will eventually help to address more than just the deficit. And with the coronavirus severely impacting the Chinese economy, do you think that brings them more to the table to give us a little bit more of what we want, maybe uh, a little bit more um, uh, amenable with uh, President Trump's demands when it comes to reaching further phases of a deal? I really think it's too early to know about further phases of the U.S.-China deal. I mean, we know what will potentially be in the, the further phases, but really this time right now is about implementing phase one, and China seems to be checking all the boxes in that progress. The real test, I think, will be once we get out of the first quarter and some of the economic effects of the coronavirus are really seen mm. in China and around the world. That will really show us whether or not China can uphold some of these commitments it made in terms of purchases. I've heard critics of China say, you know, as you look at what's happening with coronavirus and the fact that Beijing is not being forthcoming with information on the virus, should we continue to treat them as an ally? Well, I don't think that anyone would consider China to be a strategic ally, um, but they definitely are a trading partner. Mm -hmm. And so we want to see this uh, this relationship move forward in a positive way so that we're making sure that Americans are able to buy and sell freely with yeah. China. Um, and it's no surprise, honestly, that the information coming out of China on the virus is not completely transparent. It's an authoritarian regime. They want to control the flow of information. So that shouldn't surprise anyone. Mm -hmm. I think, however, the, the U.S. seems to be doing a good job at getting ahead of the ball on coronavirus. And what about a trade deal with the UK? In terms of the UK, we had some news this past week that the UK released its negotiating objectives for a bilateral trade agreement with the US. Um, it was pretty much in line with what you would expect. Uh, I think the big issues between these negotiations are going to be on things like regulatory standards, um, agriculture, and there. It's not surprising, but the UK came out and said that its healthcare system is not for sale. Um, mm. Of course, Americans want to be able to export uh, drugs and uh, medical devices and equipment to. That would be be big. Uh, other markets. Would yeah. that, can that happen? I don't know. It seems like it might not be on the table, but uh, when it comes to these broad negotiations for a full-scale trade agreement, mm -hmm. it always ends up that everything is on the table. Mm, Tori Smith, thank you so much. Thank you.